Dr. K on Twitch chat. Not entirely fair to Twitch chat because I find that Twitch chat is almost like a kid where like the standard that you hold them up to is the standard that they're going to live up to. Fair enough. Parents will come to me with problematic kids. So like I once had this kid who was, you know, having a lot of behavioral problems. My treatment for him was to hook him up. He was a high school kid to set him up with an internship at Harvard Medical School. And I was like, this kid's problem is that like he has nothing to do. People are not treating they're treating him too lowly. Mm-hmm. And that's what I found with with Twitch chat is when you when you act like Twitch chat is a bunch of degenerate noobs, they'll live up to your expectations. And when you act like Twitch chat can save the world, they won't let you down. Whatever your expectations are, Twitch chat will arise to meet them. True. In chat, that is why you guys get a gold star today. And you can turn in that gold star for 15 merit points. Yeah, that is right. Yeah, very good. This guy's got a little bit of experience, but... I'll just say my piece because I, you know, I have more experience probably than Dr. K. So I think a lot of times, and you see this in, you see this in sports with kids that are, um, that you, you got like, you got like problem kids. Okay. They're always getting in trouble and they're, they're just being jackasses, whatever. Right. And sometimes like you, you have those kids that whenever they're like, playing a sport or football or whatever, whenever they have something, some, some form of responsibility that can kind of keep them on track, it helps them a lot. Giving kids who are like problem kids some responsibility, it gives them like a feeling of um, self-worth and allows them to attach themselves to something. It's like, oh, like I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. It's not necessarily that your, your entire personality should be attached to being that one thing, right? Like, you're not just a football player, right? Your entire, your entire self-worth and being shouldn't be that one thing, right? You can be a football player. You can be a, a son, a daughter, a brother, a sister, a paladin, right? Whatever it is. That's another issue is whenever they put all of their self-worth and everything they are into attaching it to being one thing, that's bad too because at a certain point, like, that's going to end, Right? So let, let's talk, I mean, there, there was a donut at the beginning of the stream. I mean, I, I'm not going to go too far into this, right? But there was a donut from that guy who said he was an ex-competitive hardcore gamer or whatever, right? Whenever you take all your self-worth and everything you have and invest it into one thing, and that thing ends, then that's a really, really hard feeling of, like, ripping the Band-Aid off, getting the table, the rug pulled out from underneath you, whatever. Sister wife? No, not sister wife. Does, did I say that? Anyway, this happens. Again, let's talk about sports. There's a lot of people who, the hell, this happened to me. When football was over my senior year of high school, I didn't do anything. I didn't do a damn thing for the rest of the semester. S I, I Go back to incest clip. Okay, should I just move on? I, I don't think anybody's listening. And one time I got bored so much that I started jerking my pee pee during an earthquake, which felt like mother earth was fucking me. <laughs> That's nice. So I say some stupid shit, but that really does take the cake. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Cletus Corn would discuss what burger shots have been missing lately. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't there for, for uh, a couple of days, and then uh, I showed up, and then you know I came back, and hell, I, I saw we ran out all out of, all out of corn syrup. Right. There was no more soda uh, pop. Keep going we in ran here, out of corn syrup. Did y'all fix that soda pop problem? Uh, or? Uh, no, the soda machine's still broken. Soda yeah. machine's broken, so nobody There's showed up. There's soda pop in, in the yeah. burger shop. Fuck, man. Yeah, nobody nobody wants any burgers. They just wanted soda the whole time. Well, you know, I think Not Rob, I think Rob wrong, Stein was looking uh, into replacing the soda machine with a juicer. Oh, that's good. You know, going healthy? I, I, I suppose right. that works. Okay, I think that... Uh, Sheriff Corwood took Hazel's mugshot. Again, the AW4. Tell, tell me what you think of that. <laughs> oh, I want to see this from his perspective. I want to see this so bad from his perspective. Oh, that's great. Mr. Cordwood. Uh-huh. You are a legit moron. 
<laughs> what? What's wrong? Your entire entire body is covering the actual photo of the suspect. Wait, what do you mean? We we just I, need I wanna... a picture of Miss Newt, not you. Yeah, but I want them to know that I, I bagged her. Your name will be all over this. <laughs> sometimes I sometimes I accidentally my push and talk one laugh. <laughs> oh man. Uh Bobby two Cornwood zero. Oh dude. Bobby. The, oh shit, Bob. <laughs> oh my The car ran me over. <laughs> I got I got ran over. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Uh, 8.1K. Unbelievable. Received. I chat. I say, what's up? She does. Hey, DLC, make sure that fella we just sent there doesn't have too much fun in jail, okay? Yeah. Received. We beat that. I mean, we'll give him a <laughs> Any questions so far, my sheriff? Absolutely. Uh, uh no, huh? We beat that ass. Yeah, so we just sent there. Oh, it's so much funny. Uh, Patrick, that's the Ashbringer. We're going to open a jar. Easy. Now you try. First, get a jar. <laughs> what? Patrick, that's the Ashbringer. Yes. How does this only have five? How, how does this? This channel has almost a million subs and only 5,000 views on this? 38 second video? Yesterday. Yeah, but it's it's a million sub YouTube channel. As fan and channel banner. That's not me. That's um, Manoa. How? Dude, I don't understand YouTube at all. 36 million views, 26 million views, 8 million views, 6 million views. It's a mil- you don't think people would have clicked on it? Sort by date added oldest. His first video ever had 3.7 million views. What the? Children watching this don't know what an Ashbringer is. Yeah, but like, they know what Patrick is. YouTube is weird, man. Yo. So this is what we're talking about happening. You're going to jail. I mean, I am in jail right now. Just not in, behind bars. Okay, fair enough. All right, I got your choices ready, X. You ready? Yeah. Don't watch too far. Wait, one why? Counter two riding. One counter riding. Oh, what the hell? Are y'all okay? Are y'all okay? Uh, we got shots fired. We had a uh, X had a gun on him. Uh, we, we need we need you. <laughs> so it's it's so funny watching. What the, the hell are you roll. doing, son? <clears throat> oh, this what it is. From, that son of a bitch. It is what I it is. Search thoroughly, sir. Yeah, See, so, so this is what I'm saying. Like, like these three guys are such good RPers that they were able to take this situation and and like, it, like yeah, like he was being a jackass, but they, they still ended up being able to make it out of a good, make a good situation out of it. See, now what we have here is the same sort of scenario where now they are forestalled. Now they can't move. Did he just shoot my dad. Get up. They hey, can't. We'll they can't do anything. They're right stuck away. there. The same okay. way that they did to me, where I was, I couldn't move. Man, either. I literally just got up out of out of. Isn't that crazy, though? <sighs> okay, okay. Uh
Okay. Well, <laughs> so what I was going to say was, even though that was a bad situation, right? Like somebody abusing a glitch or something, we were still able to make good RP out of it. And it was a net positive, right? We ended up turning a bad situation and making it good. Why? Because these people are such damn good RPers over here that they're able to, to figure out a situation and make it go. And, and now we have something to talk about, right? And it was a whole interesting like series of events. So what the glitch is real quick, just to explain, the glitch is if you take somebody's gun away out of their inventory, and but it's still in a hotkey slot, then they can just like click it and they can still pull their gun out. It's just a bug, right? So I actually kind of defended him whenever he, he did the bug the first time. The first time he pulled his gun out and he aimed it at people in the in the cell and he didn't shoot. And then his character got shot. And I said, well, look, like people were like mad about that. I'm like, okay, yeah, but it's not like he shot. That's what I said. I was like, it's not like he actually shot them and tried to like w like abuse the situation. Like it was just like kind of funny. After like knowing that you can do that and then doing it again and then trying to shoot was kind of like, what the hell? Like, what are you doing? I also like, I don't necessarily think XUZ should be banned. I do think if it was pretty much anybody else, he should have, he, he probably would have been banned to, to do what he did last night, given like that he knew it was a bug and all kinds of stuff. He should, why not? Guys, listen, cause it's a way bigger punishment for him to be able to play GTRP and then uh, if he wants to go do variety, then his viewers are gonna scream at him to go do RP. <laughs> it's a way bigger punishment than not ban. <laughs> I just wanna watch the roll. It's so funny. It's, dude, it's just so funny. Roll, literally rolled. Okay, I, just, I think it's so funny. I don't know, just that character model is so big. Out aimed by XO, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> out aimed in XO watch, bro. Well, but he played he played a tank, right? So it's not like he played like Soldier seventy six or something. And also, you got to remember, I play like I have five hundred days played of vanilla WoW Rep Paladin. Okay, anybody who has the the sheer will to be able to play a Rep Paladin for that many days of their real life in vanilla WoW, like come on, they're obviously going to be good. It's like it's like I've been training in the hyperbolic time chamber. For years, okay, it's like I'm, it's like I'm freaking hyperbolic time chamber. I've got freaking piccolo heavy clothes on me, and then I take them off, and then it's just pure unadulterated speed.